All right. I uh, got this video and maybe one more coming out at some point tonight. Uh, <laughs> we get to talk about how there's more coming from Nintendo this year. If you thought Age of Calamity was it, that that's it. Nintendo's closed up shop. We got Pikmin 3 Deluxe. We got the Mario 35th Anniversary stuff. Age of Calamity. There's nothing else Nintendo to talk about the rest of the year. It appears you would be wrong. But before we get into why that's the case, let's talk about our giveaways. We are giving away a Switch Lite uh, and then one game of choice to two different people. So two second place winners. Uh, to enter, all you do is go down to the description. There's a laundry list of things to do. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon. All that jazz. Um, there's a whole bunch of ways to enter. So go, go ahead and check that out. And then if you want to win three, one of three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars as well, looking like it's going to have to be a digital version based on stock reasons. Either way, it's a free game. So, uh, yeah, you want to enter that, go hit the gleam. I'll link down in the description. Also, if you join our Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime, for the as $1 a month, you get 15 extra entries into every giveaway we do. All right. This is interesting. So tonight there was a Spawn cast. I'm sure some of you might even watched it. If you guys don't know who Spawn, uh, who Spawn Wave is, uh, he is a YouTuber. Uh, he's a he's a really good YouTuber. He breaks down tech. He reports on news. He's got the Spawn the Spawn uh, cast or the Spawn Spawn News or whatever. I forget what it's called. Uh, I don't really watch a lot of that newsy content. I watch more of his console breakdown content. And I'm really looking forward to when the Series X Series S. Uh, PlayStation 5 come out and he tears them apart. That's going to be really cool. Now, he has a Saturday podcast called Spawncast. Usually has like nine people on. It's fluctuated. I've actually been on, the, on it a couple times in the past. And on that podcast, something interesting came up from Nate the Hate slash Direct Feed Games. And uh, Nate the Hate and Direct Feed Games, really don't know, they kind of have some inside access on certain things with certain companies, including Nintendo. And they've gotten things right in the past about you know throwing out there that uh, Nintendo's going to do this, Nintendo's going to do that. And they just said that uh, Nintendo has more surprises for this year, and it could possibly be a Nintendo Direct. Now, we know about Partner Showcase Directs, so that's not a surprise. Like, us getting more Partner Showcase Directs wouldn't be a surprise, but they're saying it's possible that Nintendo does actually have a normal Direct at some point this year. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Like, I th I feel like most of us have conceded that there would not be a Nintendo Direct the rest of the year. Most of us have conceded that uh, there would not be any more surprises from Nintendo. Once we got Age of Calamity, we kind of figured, okay, Nintendo's good, right? They got they got a game coming out, you know, in a week. Super Mario 3D All Stars. We have Super Mario, you know, 35 next month on October 1st. We've got uh, Pikmin 3 Deluxe. We got you know Age of Calamity in November on November 20th. We got Super Mario, um, you know, 3D World. Uh, with uh, Plus Bowser's Fury coming out in February. And um, we kind of figured, hey, look, Nintendo's not going to really announce anything until January, February, March of next year. And that's just the way it's going to be. But apparently, Nintendo has more surprises, you know, for this year. I don't know if that means games coming this year, but more surprises to announce this year, bare minimum. Uh, and in addition, possibly a Nintendo Direct. Now, I tried to go back and scrub through their podcast. It's a two-plus-hour podcast. Uh, and it's really hard because it just wrapped up. Uh, so when you're going back through it, when he hits end, it's really hard to scrub through it because it, it enters into YouTube processing. For some reason, it's easier to scrub through it while it's live. And I happen to be live streaming at the same time the podcast was going on. So I didn't get a chance to scrub through it. So I actually got all this information off Player Essence's Twitter. He put out there, he said, um, you know, come watch Spawncast, uh, you know, at Nate the Hate slash at Direct Feed Games. Just said that Nintendo has more surprises for this year than might possibly be a Direct. Uh, so I'm using Player Essence right now as a source for this. On, uh, and, and he tagged uh, Nintendo Soup uh, website in it to try to report on it. Um, it it's going to be interesting to see what's happening because we, we have some rumors out there, guys. There's a rumored Capcom Monster Hunter game. For Nintendo Switch, like an exclusive Switch Monster Hunter game is rumored to exist. That would be a, a, a pretty big deal to announce, especially if it's coming this year. Can you imagine? Like, we don't even know about it, and they just drop it. Capcom drops it, and it's coming this year. Can you imagine that Nintendo has a game for December that we don't know about? Can you imagine that Nintendo might have a game for January that we don't know about? Can you imagine that Nintendo might want to talk about 2021 games during 2020? All of this is possible. So, yeah. Stay tuned because Nintendo's apparently got something in the works. Now, I don't have much of an opinion on any of this because I don't know what to I don't know what to think. I don't know what Nintendo could do. Everything's on the table. We heck, if Breath of the Wild 2 is coming next year, who's to say they couldn't tease that? Who's to say they couldn't have like an Age of Calamity direct and then tease Breath of the Wild 2 in there? Who's to say they don't like 
there, there's so many possibilities for what Nintendo could do for new games, new content, you know, Odyssey 2. There's, there's now a new rumor out there about a Super Mario RPG. That's my next video. So, like, that could be a thing. There's a lot of stuff going on at Nintendo. A lot of stuff that we're not aware of. Because even with the announcement of Age of Calamity, Nintendo didn't make that game. That's not a Nintendo game. It's an official canon Zelda game in the part of the timeline. But Nintendo didn't make that, even though they're directly involved. They didn't make that game. Koei Tecmo did. So what the hell is Nintendo making? Just porting Pikmin 3 Deluxe and porting old Mario games? No, I guess they made some new content for 3D World, but what the hell are they making? Where's the new, new stuff? We haven't had a new, new Nintendo game, like, made by Nintendo since Paper Mario. So, they gotta be working on something. <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Uh, nice short video for you guys. Um, stay tuned for the next video, though. We get, We got a juicy juicy one for you all right folks thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video yes